Now that we understand workspaces and projects, let's start XTML Editor. Here I'm entering my desired workspace location. As we discussed previously, a project is the fundamental unit of organization in Eclipse. Most operations require the context of a project. Let's start by creating a new project in this workspace. We simply right click in this area underneath Model Explorer and say New XTML Project. I'm going to name this project Library. and our new project has been created. As you can see, right now it's empty. XTUML Editor includes some sample projects. These are available via the welcome page. So I select help and then welcome. And this brings up the welcome page. From here, I choose quick start and then click the example application GPS watch. The example application is automatically imported and will show up in my Model Explorer view. Now let's go over a few key terms about the development environment itself. The workbench is the outermost container of an Eclipse-based user interface. It holds all of the tools being used at a given time. An individual pane is called a view. You can see here we have the Model Explorer view. This is a text editor view. We have the palette view and so on. Views can be resized and moved around within the workbench. Editors let you manipulate a resource directly. For example, a source file or model elements such as attributes, activities, and descriptions. Here you see the text editor showing the readme. We can expand the model and open XTML Canvas Editor. And as you see here, the UML model elements show up on the canvas. Let's take a moment to resize some of our views in order to maximize our canvas display area. XTML Editor has tools for zooming in and zooming out, as well as zooming all the selected elements. You can also double click the tab here to make this view go full screen within the workbench. A perspective contains a group of related views and editors. Right now we are in the XTML modeling perspective. You can switch between perspectives to quickly access various task-centered groupings of functionality within the context of a single project or workspace. If we choose Window, Open Perspective, you see some shortcuts to some commonly used perspectives, and if we choose Other, we see all the available perspectives. If you are going to use Git for revision control, you can switch to the Git Repository Exploring Perspective, and this is where you control access to your local repository. If you wanted to download the source code for the XTML editor, you would likely want to use the Java Perspective to browse and edit the source code. You can use the buttons here in the toolbar to quickly switch between perspectives.